Hey Budget Fam, I hope that you are doing well. It is GB here from Ink and Babes. Welcome or welcome back. It is time for us to officially set up our budget binders for the month of March. Doing a quick binder setup as well as going through our cash planning and our budget with me kind of helps us to set the tone for the month of March of what we financially expect to achieve. So I would encourage you to also do your own budget binder setup as well as your little budget with me as well. All right. So I wanted to also mention that I finished budgeting off of February after hours. Oh my gosh. Reconciliation and all that stuff takes so long. Um, I counted all of the prop cash, took all of the cash out and... At the end of it all, after writing down all of the amounts for those saving challenge that we had in the mini mind, any mini Monday binder, the coffee binder, the build a farm, um, and all of the completed saving challenges, we come with a final total of 976 euros that we were able to save during the month of February. And that includes all of my high priority saving challenges, my low priority saving challenges, and all of the fun saving challenges as well. Now, because we're moving into the month of March, I've decided to shuffle around some of the savings challenges. So this binder is completely empty. We've taken literally all of those saving challenges out. We've emptied them all. And now we're going to go ahead and set this binder up for the month of March. All of the cash that we saved for this binder so far is in the back here. I'm actually going to be putting this cash towards my 100 envelope challenge just because I just want to get it out of the way. I want to put it somewhere and make space for the cash for the month of March and, you know, the subsequent months coming ahead. So I will be reallocating this into my 100 envelope challenge. So stay tuned for that. This is my cash planning sheet. I'm going to be using this on a weekly basis to kind of um, mentally prepare myself for the cash that I need for my saving challenges. And it just helps me to get a little bit more focused. Like I don't want, I don't want to be guessing sometimes. So I'm going to try to see if I can stick to specific numbers um, during the month of March and seeing if that is going to be a little bit more effective. Um, this is my budget planner here. I'm probably going to fill this off, um, fill this out off camera. Okay. So the main reason I want to set up my budget binder is because we've made a ton of changes. Like I said, I have different um, saving challenges into different binders now because, you know, God, we have like nine colors in, in, in the binders. So I want to put all of the colors to good use. And I think it'll also help anyone that's, you know, potentially interested in these binders to kind of see them in action. Okay, so let me just get my bearings correct here. Let me grab a pen and uh, we're going to get started. All right, guys, back again. Now, as you would know, the month of March is what we know to be St. Patrick's Day month. So it's all about green and rainbows and lucky clovers and all that good stuff. So I've kind of combined some savings challenges and some freebies from different YouTubers that had a little bit of a green in them. I've replaced some saving challenges with some new saving challenges, and I'm also gonna be bringing back some of the saving challenges that you would have previously seen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go through all of the lovely savings challenges. Um, so they will be in no particular order. Okay, so I believe this is 20, and if it's not 20, then we'll just have to take one out. All right, so going into our mini Monday binder, the first saving challenge that I have here, this is the this was a free saving challenge from Budget with Mama Bear. Last month we did a self care one, so this is two of the three of that kind of self care saving challenge that she had going on, and I thought they were so cute. And obviously, I loved that there is bees on here, so it kind of you know we're coming into March, which is St. Patrick's month, but it is also the the season of spring if I am um, correct there. So I wanted to see, I wanted more spring savings challenges in this binder because we're now we're in a new season. So this is the first savings challenge that's going to go into here. And uh, each this is going to be very low income, very, very low income. So all of those little honeycomb pieces are going to be just one euro. All right, moving on. I could not wait to bring out some of the new saving challenges that I have created. This is the rainbow wings. 
saving challenge and this is a part of that kind of butterfly themed kind of saving challenge i love the colors that's on here each of these is just going to be one euro so we are going to go ahead and put this into our envelope number two moving on down to the next saving challenge this is my rolling with the peeps easter saving challenge for this one you just kind of roll a die um, and there is an amount at <clears throat> excuse me there is an amount on each of the peeps five oh free again honestly i hope this i hope these challenges keep that energy when i have to play betcha all right so rolling with the peeps is going to go into envelope number three um yeah these are my saving challenges uh you can find them on etsy all right, so next up, we do have another B saving challenge. This one's called Buzz Off. Um, each of the num there's numbers in these individual honeycombs, and then this big honeycomb in the center here, there are dices with the associated numbers. So you can use this to roll a die or fill in some of the numbers in the honeycomb. So that is Buzz Off. Um, next is going to be Bloom Bloom Wow, which is a sunflower savings challenge. It is absolutely adorable. I mean, I know sunflowers could possibly go for the autumn season as well. Um, and there's four, eight, 12, there's 16 of these. They're each going to be a dollar, keeping it very low. So that's can now joining the Easter lineup, the spring savings challenge lined up. Now, there were some YouTubers that um, are doing collaborations and I saw g and k designs and budgets she had something on her community post about some saving challenges and helping everyone trying to get to i think 1k i believe i'm i know hot mess budget is almost there i'm trying to remember if she hit it but at the time of me watching this video i'm not 100 percent sure however it is always so good to help those in the budgeting community so if you're not subscribed to these lovely ladies please go ahead and hop on over to their channel and do support them, help them to achieve a significant milestone in their YouTube journey, as well as their budgeting journey. And at the same time, they're giving you some free saving challenges that are absolutely perfect for the month of March. Now, if I remember correctly, it could have been five saving challenges all together. Um, I just picked out these three because I thought they just screamed easter they screamed spring and they the amounts were relatively inexpensive and i absolutely love them so the first one here is peeping it real and they have a two euros assigned to each one of the peeps but for me i'm just going to do one euro i mean they have two dollars here but i'm just going to use one euro for each one of these little peeps here and to keep this relatively inexpensive you can do whatever you like so that is the first one Again, please don't forget to support these lovely ladies. Um, and by doing this binder weekly, it gives me an opportunity to give them a shout out as well. So that's why I love doing mini Mondays the way that I do it here. I don't, I know a lot of people are doing six challenges, but I'm going to stick to my 20. It helps me to save just a little bit more and I, there's more channels that I can help promote. All right, so here's this cute little spring saving challenge. Excuse my cutting guys. My cutting is so cricket. Um, this is a cute spring saving challenge with a little cute bunny and a little carrot and all of the amounts are from between one and five euros so that is actually pretty much doable and don't forget this is the for, for the entire spring season so i'm in no rush like i literally have 12 weeks before we get to summer so again this binder is going to be here for a while so this is the third saving challenge from this collaboration this one is a picnic time you have numbers one, two, three, yeah, five is the highest one. There's only one five there, but the majority of these are one. Um, so it's a lovely little picnic basket. It just gives you a visual representation of the beautiful season ahead. Um, I am looking forward to having some picnics and some sun and just going and exploring the outdoors. All right, next up is, this is another uh, free saving challenge. This is from Hey K Budgets. Now this is technically a no spend um i did not she had it for the entire year so january february march were on one paper april may june was on one sheet um july august september was on one sheet and then october november and december was on one sheet i did not want to just print out the january february and march sheet simply because i would be stuck with january and february whilst i'm doing march so i decided that i would choose the april may and june sheet and just get a head start on april now, I'm not using this as a no spend. I actually think that I'm going to use it as just each one of these. My printer, 
you know, we have a little deformed, like I said before, we have a little bit of a deform. I don't know what's going on with my print. It keep every now and then it does this little line here. So we have a little deformed um, set, but you know what? We don't discriminate. We love all avocados, whether they're perfect and not so perfect. When I saw this, I was like, this is such a cute avocado challenge and I'm not going to do it as a no spent. I'm just going to do it as each one of these avocados is going to be one euro and it's so, so cute. So I'm going to use this as a low income savings challenge um, and I got this free from Hey K Budget. So if you're not yet subscribed to her, please go ahead and go and support her and grab yourself a year worth of avocado saving challenges absolutely adorable and then there's a little quote down to the bottom here i am tomorrow or some future day what i established today i am today what i established yesterday and that's a quote from james joyce so that's a nice touch <clears throat> i thought this was such um <clears throat> excuse me i thought it was such a cute challenge honestly i was looking for an avocado challenge and this was free and i was like okay i'm gonna do this and what i'm gonna do is i bought myself some stickers off of shein honestly honestly i could just use the green if i want to be like really picky sorry excuse me i could use some of these stickers here that i use um on my 100 envelope challenge but i actually got my shein haul and i got some new stickers and stuff and i'll share that with you at some point, I want to share some of the new things that I got from Shein that can help you on your budgeting journey. Anyway, so that's the saving challenge from Hey K Budgets, okay? Moving on. So this is from Windmill Ridge Budgets and More. And I hopped on over to her channel because she usually um, comments on the Build a Farm Savings Challenge videos. And I hopped on over to her channel, followed her, and then I noticed that she had some freebies in there. And you know, I love freebies. I have no shame in saying that I love free saving challenges. I love giving free. I love receiving free. And I love creating saving challenges. And I saw this one. I was like, oh, yes, queen, yes. So we now have ourselves a farm savings challenge because we're now moving into spring. All of the animals are going to be out on the farm. And I absolutely love this. And there are small amounts on here. And what you could do is you can actually put little scratch off stickers on here. It's big enough that you could squeeze some scratch off stickers and make it a surprise. So I already see the numbers, but I feel like even if I put scratch off on here, I'm not going to remember anyway. So I could put scratch off stickers on this and just make this a little bit more fun. Anyway, so that is that. And at least I know that the expectation for this scratch off is nothing's going to be more than five euros. So I'm very happy about that because that scratch off in my chair and do mm -mm, that ain't come a man. I have to, that's now, that has now become a debt. I have to pay that off before I put the bag inside you. Okay. So that is from Wind Mill Ridge. I mean, Windmill Ridge budgets and more. I will have all of the YouTube channels linked down in the description. Please do not just jump over to people's channel, download their freebies, and don't give them a follow. The least you could do is just give them a thumbs up, give them a little follow, help them to achieve a, you know, get their subscribers and get their watch hours and stuff, okay? And in return, you get yourself some really fun saving challenges. All right, so now let's move on over to another freebie. And so I believe this is a collaboration with, yes, it is, Jamie RN Budgets, The Blessed Daisy Budgets, and Sarah on a Budget. So lucky to be friends with you. How cute is that, guys? So as I mentioned, March is St. Patrick's Day here in Ireland and possibly celebrated in different parts of the world. And so for this one, there is some cute little green sodas. There's some little bear chuggy chugs things here. I am and we have some clovers and stuff like that i might make this low income friendly and just make all of the icons just one euro one dollar one pound whatever like that so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so i could do it like that i could do all of the icons 18 and then make the b maybe like a two or something like that but anyway don't drink and drive call a friend to come and join your real friends have your stinger when you get buzzed oh always have a sober ride home 155 the best age budget or if you're feeling lucky roll the dice so i thought this was so cute and i also thought it would be a great way to go ahead and support these ladies as well so again another saving challenge and this one has a st patrick's day theme to it and um, again these these are the ladies to follow so um i just want to go ahead and uh, promote them and help them to achieve whatever they need to achieve by mentioning on my channel as well 
So let's go ahead and get this tucked in there. All right, so that one is now done. Um, so we, you guys would remember, this was a freebie last month, I believe. Just in, I, I was the intention was to do this for Valentine's. Didn't make it, guys. We had a lot going on. We were doing the budget boot camp, and then we were doing the build a farm, and so I completely forgot about it. But the good part is, there's nothing Valentine's about this. This is just some really delicious strawberries. So I can do this any time of the year. It's spring season. More fruits and vegetables are going to be coming out. So the perfect time to spin the bottle. So spin the bottle is now going to be joining us for this month. I'm very happy to, to play this one. Although I don't know why I put these numbers so high. I think I'm going to change these numbers. I think I'm going to make this uh three and no three is already there so i have one two three i think i'm gonna make this a four and i think i'm gonna make this maybe like a one or something i'm gonna change those numbers because the girl ain't got no 15 and no 10 mm, 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 no stop right moving on okay so savings gone wild by the almost organized owl organized owl this one is coming back we didn't get to finish this a lot of this i mean some of the saving challenge we didn't get to finish, but if I if I look at a saving challenge and I see that it is relatively low income and there's a possibility that I can finish it in another month or two, I brought it back because it was, you know, a little bit on the low side. Um, and Nita over at the Almost Organized Owl is a really great supporter, so I want to keep mentioning her. Um, this was another low in um saving challenge as well. I feel like the numbers are still relatively small. I can deal with a three. I'm okay if I have to put a three in this. So this one is from Smart Savings with Polar. So she is coming back as well. And I love the simplicity of this saving challenge. Shut the box. Definitely have to come back. We didn't even get to play this not just once. This is from saving with shalonda such a beauty beautiful saving challenge and a really fun game so shut the box is definitely coming back so that goes in there you know scooby-doo have to come back this is a saving challenge that maria over she has got it um created for me and sent me over and i actually have a scooby-doo die i don't know where i put my scooby-doo die uh put it probably into another table but anyway i have a special die for this so yes this this is going to be staying in here forever so scooby-doo is back because uh the mystery van is you know spring vibes so that's my scooby-doo challenge and that's this dashboard the challenge is actually really big it doesn't fit into my binder so i just have the dashboard there okay spring into savings we literally did not get an opportunity to give this a proper proper cash stuffing i only literally did one flower on here so this is definitely coming back and this is from cindy cat budgets so that's going to go into my um cash envelope number 17 save one petal at a time this is kind of springy and um, i know that their amounts on here is just three and two i feel like this is going to be a long-term saving challenge because the end goal is going to be 200 and um, even if it was one one two three four five six seven maybe Maybe if I made them one, it would be it would move a little bit faster. So I might adjust that to my budget as well. Okay, this relatively low income savings challenge by Maria. I'm sticking to her, her scratch offs because they are very good to me. They're very kind to me. So her challenge that she made for me, this says GP, in case you didn't notice, is personalized, very special. So obviously this one is coming back. And this is going to go into my envelope number 19. And then lastly, this is a saving challenge from the budgeting student. Um, even though this was launched for Valentine's, I love that it doesn't really say or it doesn't really scream Valentine's. It's just really pink and cute. And there's two little cute cats there, which is perfect for the spring season and is relatively low income. Each set of hearts um, is, is just one euro. So I feel like this is a relatively low income one. And so this is joining us back this month okay now the other saving challenges that i took out of here we can re reintroduce them back at a later time it does not mean that i'm just putting them away it just i wanted to focus on saving challenges that have a really really small number and i wanted to kind of shout out some different youtubers this month as well so again flip through of all of the saving challenges that i have i will have their um information linked down in the description below i'm just going to keep these cards here because i might forget who those youtubers are all right so that's everything for our oh no 
that's everything for our Monday binder. Okay, I don't want to mess it up. I bend it just a little bit. Yeah, that should work, shouldn't it? All right, so that's everything for our Monday uh, budget binder. Um, on Wednesdays, we, sorry. On Wednesdays, we do our coffee Wednesdays. And this budget binder, there's not much I need to do in here. I haven't made any changes. All of the saving challenges that I'm doing for my coffee Wednesday is still inside here. And I've just added just a little bit more decor inside there. So this binder is already set up and ready to go for our Wednesday's videos. And then on Fridays, we have our Build a Farm Friday. And we put the Build a Farm um, saving challenge into the mint binder. And it matches absolutely perfect. Stay tuned for Build a Farm Friday because there will be a new freebie dropping for the farm crew. Um, yep, all my saving challenges are already in here and updated. We already verified all that information. So now our Build a Farm binder is now in the mint binder. Okay. So I don't need to do anything with my 100 envelope challenge because this binder is up to date. I hardly ever have to do anything inside here. And I don't need to do anything in this binder. This is my affirmation binder. All of the months are already in here, all set up for the rest of the month. So here is the affirmation for the month of March. I am constantly attracting new streams of income and financial opportunities. So that is that for our affirmations. And then this is, oh wait, no, hold on. I wanted to do something else in terms of this binder here. I have some other saving challenges here that need to be completed um, at a certain time. So this is the March saving challenge from Frugality is Life. And what I basically do is each letter, I just make them one euro, one dollar, one pound. So in my case, it's going to be one euro. I love that because March is a short month. January and February, they were longer letters. Um, but March only has five. So this hopefully means I can complete this this month and I don't have to wait until kind of like the last minute to get this completed. So I'm actually going to conclude, include this into this um, affirmation binder. Then we do have a March saving challenge from One Frugal Introvert Jerry. And so these are all the numbers here. I don't actually know how much this adds up to, but I know the last, the last one that we did for February, I think it added up to like 48. So we're going to assume that it might be 50 something. I don't know. Four and one is five. Yeah, I don't know. So that's the March and it's so pretty. It's nice and green. And we have our little St. Patrick theme going on there. So this is our March challenge. Do I want to put this in my seasonal binder? I think I might put this in the seasonal binder. Then we have a March saving challenge with nine envelopes. Each one of these envelopes, I make them like $1. One euro, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying different currencies. And because this has a lovely little um, message here, I believe there's enough money for everyone. And then we have a bonus scratch off. I'm actually going to include this. This is from Marie over at She's Got It. I'm going to include it into this binder as well. We also have another scratch off here for March. And this one is 50 euros. Last month we had 40 euros and we had 40 euros for January. Okay, Maria, you're going off on me. You're going up. And then never spend your money before you have it. So again, this is very much positive words, affirmations, encouragement. So this is going to join this binder as well. Um, I have a 12 weeks of spring saving challenge, low income, 25 euros. So the, all of the numbers two, one, and you know, like one, four there. So, sorry, I feel like I wasn't showing. I keep moving up outside of the camera frame. Oh, okay, my phone drop in. Oh, I didn't have the thing in the center, so it was heavy, so it kept moving, that's why. Anyway, so this is my 12 weeks of spring, so I think I'm going to put 12 weeks of spring, and I'm going to put this March saving challenge from Jerry. We're going to add this into our themed saving challenge binder. Um, then I have my message in a bottle. This is what Saving with Alicia um, gave to me as a lovely happy mail. And so this saving challenge is also going to join this budget binder as well. So we have a few saving challenges. We have four saving challenges that's coming. And I love that all of them kind of look how they nicely they complement each other. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love that. All of the colors complement each other. There you go. See, these are the ladies that you need to support. Okay, go and support Fiona. 
go and support she has got it i mean sorry this is jerry over at one frugal introvert this is maria over as she has got it this is fiona over at frugality is life and this is saving with alicia okay lovely saving challenges going into my binder so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put them to the front here so that i remember to get them done and basically what we'll do is every month we'll just swap them out for the next one because i have i literally have 12 months from maria for this one i have 12 months from fiona over at frugality's life i have 12 months from maria for, for the scratch off as well and then this is probably going to last me for the entire year because there's 25 bottles here and this is the cute bottle that she sent me i open up each one of these capsules and there is a number in there and I just save the number that's in the capsule. How cute. Like, honestly, I have the best binders in the world. Honestly. Right. Okay. So that's now done. And lastly, I have a scratch and save. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scratch off one. I don't know yet where I'm going to be putting this one. All right. What is this? So this is our 5, 10, and 20 budget binder. And... Um, Basically, we're just going to be putting the money into the March cash envelope there. <clears throat> I apologize if I'm out of frame. I keep going here, but I need to be here. Okay, so this is our 500, um, 1,000, and 2,024. So basically, we're just going to be working off of the March cash envelope for this binder. So you can see like all of the black, the black binders, they're... You know number specific <clears throat> okay so this is my themed monthly savings challenge so basically i'm going to that's the themed oh this is my seasonal yep so then 12 weeks of spring is going to join that so this savings challenge here from jerry which is themed i'm going to put this to the front here and then each month i'm just going to change it to whatever is the current month okay so jerry saving challenges now into the themed monthly binder and then we will start my march or should i put this next to the march one yeah so let's do that let's just put it here and then when we change over to april then we'll just take the envelope out and just switch it back so then we have two saving challenges inside here for the month of march into the themed monthly binder, which is now into the pink binder. Then the gray binder. So since I'm gonna make this scratch off seasonal, I'm gonna put the scratch off in here. I feel like that adds a nice color to this, doesn't it? It does actually. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna put the scratch off to the front from Maria because we're only scratching it off once a month. And then we're now going to be moving to month three, which is March, which is flower power. And I'm going to put this 12 weeks of spring in the front here just because this then signifies the beginning of spring. So that's the spring. And then we have March there as well. And then obviously these all three of these is part of the spring um, saving challenges here. OK, so then this saving challenge binder is now complete and ready for us for the month of March. Should I put that there? Actually, I can just tuck it right here because I have more space there. And I'll just put the cash into that envelope in the front there as well. Right, okay, I apologize if the video seemed to have gone a little bit over schedule. I didn't want to go over 20 minutes. And then lastly, this is my Zodiac binder. Um, I think I touched base on this already, but we're now moving into the Save and Challenge Pisces because we're finished with capricorn and aquarius so now we're going to move over to pisces as well so now that we kind of get an idea of all of the saving challenges that we have to accomplish basically i'm just going to go ahead and fill off my cash planning tracker and kind of write down all of the saving challenges that i plan to do each week and then how much cash and everything that i need so that's what this tracker is for but i'm not going to do that on camera because again i don't want to have an extremely long video all my binders are now set up. I am very excited to get started. And my first video for the month of March is going to be with on Build a Farm Friday when we are coming to start off back on to the farm. This binder will come out on Mondays. And then the this binder here will be on um, Coffee Wednesdays. 
and then the rest of these saving challenges are usually cashed off like on a saturday or a sunday or something like that okay anyway thank you guys so much for watching and spending time with me please be sure to support all of the saving challenges that i have mentioned in this video and hopefully i remember to have them linked down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye guys